What Guam and Guam people names? Um, so I started off by watching Fantasia at the Grammys, and I've now ended up watching Whitney Houston doing Ain't No Way. <laughs> like, what a little journey that has been, man. Of like that soul, and you know what? I think it comes from like my mum because when I was younger and. Um, she, we always used to watch like it's a show called Top of the Pops um, and we'd record like the live performances and stuff um, so the, you know Whitney was on there and I remember specifically there being Jade on there as well you know don't walk away boy don't walk away my love won't hurt you no <laughs> and like I think that's where my love for it has come from because I used to watch that with her all the time and like and, and she still loves music now, so I think that's probably where. Because I was just thinking, why do I love? And obviously, my mum's influence is very much like you know female vocalists and stuff. Like, and I've just I've always, I've just always had that around. Um, so your Whitney's, your your Mariah's, your Mary J. Blige's, your um, Shaka Khan's, your Tina Turner's, your Celine Dion's, like you know all these amazing people I've kind of been around and grown up with, and obviously regular like you know everyone else as well, your Steve Wonder's, your Temptation, like all that kind of stuff. Um, but like I've got a real soft spot um, for I mean I just love vocals anyway, but I've got a real soft spot for like female vocalists and just just how sick they are like and I think like everything that like embodies this whole diva element like these powerhouses that can like at the drop of a hat like bulldoze you over with their vocals or be as light as a feather on a summer breeze like it's just I, I love that kind of duality I guess um, so anyway, so I was going to watch uh, Whitney perform, I've just watched Jennifer Hudson singing a tribute to Aretha Franklin, um, and in, in that tribute she sang Ain't No Way, which is just such an awesome song. Can we just agree that? <laughs> it's such an awesome song. Um, and I am familiar with Whitney and Mary J. Blige singing Ain't No Way, which is in The Red Thing and The Divas Rock, whatever. Uh, so I was going to watch that, but then what came up was that she, uh, Whitney actually sang this with her mum. Um, on some show somewhere it looks like very very early on Whitney so um, this is going to be a first time reaction of that because I've never seen that so let's plug in and see what I go on and now as we promised um, Clive Davis and Arista Records uh, newest discovery Whitney Houston is coming back this time with her very talented mom who herself is no stranger to hit records you've heard her on just about all of Aretha Franklin's greatest hits currently her mom, Sissy, is appearing off-Broadway in the musical Taking My Turn. Right now, she's going to sing that medley with her daughter. So here's Whitney Houston and her mom, Sissy. Wow. You know what? I actually don't know Sissy's resume, you know, and fair play. Sing, you know. Is to help and love her man. 
Wow, sisi. Generally feeling like all tingly. Like there's something I think I mentioned it with um Dimash and his brother Mansoor, like there's something really like awesome and wholesome about watching family members like perform together, like and having that kind of synergy, like and knowing that like genetically they are are like not one obviously because not the same person, but like they come from the same kind of gene pool. Like and a mother and a daughter singing like together like that it's just something it's just really wholesome it's just really really wholesome i didn't really like, and i obviously know that sister houston was a singer as well but i've never really listened to her um or i just thought that like she sings in church and stuff i didn't really know her resume i didn't know that um and uh unless i forgot that did, was she, did they do like a like a sissy Character in respect. I don't know if they did. I can't remember. But um, but that's the first time I really lis listened to her singing, um, and she's got really like her range. Like I find that her that, like initially, I'm like her voice is like it sounds like like drier, like in texture than Whitney's. Um, but then there were certain things in her voice. I can like, I can hear like little Whitney isms in her voice. Um, I say Whitney isms. I guess Whitney's got sissy isms. Um, and then has obviously ran with those and and you know gone in her own Whitney lane. But um, you know there, it was such a control. There was such a respectful performance, mother and daughter. And uh, you know to watch. That's where Whitney came from, where she was starting, and then where she. Um, resulted in in ending and and getting you know where she where she got to in terms of all of her number ones and being just this international superstar. Um, it's just really interesting to watch something that early on. I'm, it's another reason why I'm just so grateful for things like YouTube um, and why I I will always champion 
um, reaction channels and stuff and um, you know hopefully these things aren't being copyrighted because ultimately like sometimes people just forget people just people or, or they just don't know do you know what I mean like and then they see someone that kind of they follow reacting to something and they listen to it and it's like oh my god like wow like and it just it just furthers that that material that 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 keeps them alive do you know what I mean because ultimately like the you know, Whitney's not been here for a long time, um, but through the grace of, you know, having all of this footage and, you know, things that I still haven't seen, even as a Whitney fan, like, there's still things I've not seen, um, you know, it's it's so important, I think, that we are able to kind of, as I work together, um, to kind of get this kind of stuff out to people and stuff, so, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, as a nice medley, and again, like, it probably wasn't, like, I could have done with more, I like, ain't no way. I felt like Whitney was just about to get into a groove with that, do you know what I mean? And then it cut to, but then, but I, you know, that was kind of, you send me, and as you do, and as you do, and as you do. Like, it, that, it was nice, it was it was cute, it was, uh, and, and then, you know, the harmonies, were just really, really awesome. I, mean, I, I enjoyed it, I really enjoyed it. Um, okay. Thank you very much for watching that with me. I hope you enjoyed that with me. If you did, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That would be really, really awesome. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, oh, I do have a super thanks set up as well. So if you want to be nice and generous, I'd be very grateful. My birthday is coming up. Um, and I've also got my Patreon as well. So it's a great way to support the channel because, again, it's just me. And um, I'm now doing this full time. So I could definitely do it with, with the support to continue getting these videos out. Uh, but it also means as well that you get access to my videos um, before it hits YouTube, sometimes up to a week. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely worthwhile, I think. But um, for now, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>